What's up guys? Quick video on how to get into Star Citizen, how to purchase it essentially. I've been asked this a couple of times and I've seen it on come up as a question on different places, on comments, on Reddit, etc. And um, you know, some people think that it's hard to like, navigate through how to get the game or how to navigate through the website. So I'm just going to show you how to do it and hopefully clarify some things. And the first thing I really want to point out is your account name because that's something I cocked up completely. Um, but the link to the Enlist Now page is in the description below. So click that link and it will make things much, much easier for you to get on with. Um, if you was looking for this normally just go on google and type in robert space industries enlist click the top link it should be the right one and it will take you to this page anyway um but this is the page that you create your account with and this is what will allow you to then get the game you can also get a package first and then do this but if you do this now it's much simpler so like i said links down below or go on google robert space industries enlist and get to this page so like i said account name or call sign as it is in there this um, is important that you choose a name for your account that is not what you want to call a character if you have a name you like to call a character do not use it for your account name I for some reason I was probably doing this late at night and I put in my character name as my account name and then when I tried to make my character name, I couldn't use it because you can't have the same character name as your account name and you can't change your account name right now. So it's very annoying. If you want to call your character Dave, call your account name Steve. You know, don't call them the same thing. So get account name, email, password, birth date, etc. Normal stuff. Check the boxes. But before you do anything else, referral code optional. Put in a referral code. Um, if you've got a friend that's already got a game, obviously use theirs and help them out. Um, if not, use mine. It's in the description below. A referral code will just give you, the new member, um, an extra 5,000 Alpha UEC, which is the in-game currency. Um, it will give the person whose referral code you used, um, it will just give them a notch on their um, recruitment list. The... Um, referral program list that you that you have on your account once you've got an account you'll get given a referral code that you can give to people and you can build up your own list and every so many um levels or tiers of this list you unlock something in game it's just cosmetics and stuff normally you know like um you know like uh, <laughs> i got a fish tank randomly i've also got a gray cat buggy um but you can unlock random stuff and um you know, it's just a nice little thing and it's a way of them obviously getting people to promote their game for them. And um, yeah, but as a user you'll get 5,000 UEC for using someone's referral code. Like I said, mine's in the description below if you want to use mine. Or use one of your friends if they've got one. Once you've done that, just click enlist. Um, I've already got an account and I don't plan on setting up another one. So I'm not going to click enlist obviously. But once you've done that, click enlist. It should take you to the game package um, page where you can buy your game package. But if it doesn't, do, in, uh, do the enlist. Do the enlist. <laughs> Complete the enlist now form. And then at the top of the website, this is always here on every single page, this top um, drop down menus. Go to games and select join the universe. It will take you to this page. And just click play now. But before you do that, Check out some of the stuff here because um, it will tell you a bit about the game and if you scroll down you get to Born 2 section. Born to fight, Born to explore, Born to unite, Born to trade. These give you a brief breakdown on how to do some of the stuff in game and it will take you to the videos that you can watch if you want to watch a video. And um, yeah, it will show you some of the things you can do in game. Also, the, the Star Citizen YouTube page has um, a tutorial video list essentially um, I think it might be slightly outdated but it does give you um, an overview and an idea of how to get things started in the game but I'm gonna do my own little thing with this and after this video there'll be another video on what to do now I'm in the verse kind of thing um, because that's another thing that people get in they don't know what to do so I'll, I'll cover that as well but there is actually things 
to do with that on the uh, YouTube page. And also, there's some other people, other YouTubers that have got some stuff on this. Board Gamer is one of them, for example. Um, so yeah, you can go check their stuff out. But back to the matter in hand. Um, if you kept scrolling down, you'd eventually get to prepare to flight. Uh, prepare to flight. <laughs> prepare for flight, which is the the start packages, which we can go there. But let's go back to top. Let's click play now. It will take you to the same thing we were just looking at. But um, yeah, here we go. So there's these are the two choices. Now sometimes they'll change these, and one of these will be replaced with something else, or sometimes there'll be a third option. Um, right now, these are the only two. So if you're $45, you'll obviously get a game pack. You'll get a starter ship. Whichever one you choose, I'll talk about them in a moment. Then you'll get a Southland hangar, which I think, um, although it's in-game, last time I tried it, I couldn't get it to work. Um, but the idea of the hangar is that you can go in there, you can spawn your ships, the ships you own, and you can customise them, you can change the loadouts on them, and um, you know you can just look around them if you want to look around inside them. But right now when I've tried it, I've not been able to spawn my ship. The, the place where you go to spawn the ship, I can never find it. Um, some people have managed to get it to work, but I personally haven't. And again, I don't know whether they're going to be sorting out, whether they're going to take out the game. I don't know. It's um, We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, you get one of them for whatever it's worth. You get a thousand UEC starting money. Like I said, if you use a referral code, you'll get an extra five grand on top of that. You get three months insurance with your starter ship. Now, this causes some issues with people because some people tell you when they're comparing ships, like, not buy this ship because the the second ship's got more insurance, so buy the second ship. Insurance isn't in-game at the moment. makes no difference what insurance you have on a ship because no matter how many times you destroy your ship, you can always claim it back at the moment. Once the game comes out fully... Um, you're going to have to have insurance to claim your ship back, of course. And there's going to be different insurances for different things. But right now, when you see on there lifetime insurance, although lifetime is actually quite good, because I suppose once the game comes out, you'll still have it. But you still look 12 months insurance, 6 months insurance, 3 months insurance. It means absolutely nothing right now, guys. So don't worry about that. But with the starter ships, you do get 3 months insurance, having said that. Um, and obviously, like I said, you get your, your digital download, which is the starter pack, the game pack. The ships, the Mustang and the Aurora, they're both amazing starter ships. I personally went with the Mustang. Um, I kind of wish I'd got the Aurora. I don't kind of, I do wish I'd got the Aurora. I upgraded my Mustang to an Avenger Titan, which I was very happy with. I loved my Avenger Titan, and in my opinion, it's the best ship value for money in the game. If you're buying a ship off the website, it's very, very good early on. But I missed my Mustang. I, I, love, I love this little ship. Um, it was great fun while I had it, and yeah, you can actually upgrade this and make it very useful in game. It's a great little ship. The Aurora is the same as the Mustang. Obviously, it looks different, um, but it's it can do everything the Mustang can do. But I wish I'd got the Aurora because behind the cockpit of the Aurora, there's a little entrance way which you can put delivery boxes in. Delivery boxes when you start the game are a great way of not only making a bit of money to start with. But also getting used to flying around the verse, doing a little bit of exploring, getting to see some things, and yeah, getting to grips with the game in general. It's a really good way of doing that. And um, yeah, the Aurora is much easier to do them with because you can just climb in your ship and put the box down, get in your seat, and off you go. With the Mustang, I believe you can get a box in the ship. Um, I've not tried it. And I think you kind of have to glitch it in or be able to climb on top of it and drop the box in your cockpit and then get in your cockpit. Um, it's a bit of a hassle. Um, so I would recommend the Aurora, but the Mustang is equally as good if you just want a dogfighting ship. Um, but the Aurora is good at dogfighting as well. Like I said, they're basically the same ship, essentially. Um, they're very much the same as far as like, armor and um, damage output. But the Aurora does have that little room behind it that you can put a box in. It also has a bed, I think, <laughs> which the Mustang doesn't have. Another bonus is to why I recommend the Aurora. Also, the cockpit on the Aurora, I personally really like the look of it. I love the look of the Aurora's cockpit. And, um, yeah, I wish I'd bought it. But having said that, like I said, I had the, the Mustang and I loved it. It was a great ship and um, I made money with it. I upgraded to my Avenger Titan. I never had any problems. I will talk about upgrades quickly, but yeah, the point with this is you don't need to spend any more money than you pay for the base package. 
This $45 is all you ever need to spend. You never need to buy anything else. You never need to buy another ship through the website. You can buy everything in-game. You do not need to buy anything else off the website. If you want to, you can of course. I personally have, like I said, I upgraded my Mustang to my Avenger Titan. And I recently upgraded my Avenger Titan to a Cutlass Black. And uh, I won't be upgrading it from there. I'm going to leave it to cut this black. If I do decide to buy another ship, because um, fortunately for myself, I do sometimes have a bit of spare cash. I can do what I want with. And if I don't use it to buy a game, I will probably use it to go towards my Star Citizen fund, because I love this game. But um, yeah, if you're not in that situation, guys, you don't need to, to buy anything else, okay? You can buy everything in-game. I know I've already said it, but I just want to repeat and make it clear. You can buy everything in-game. Um, it's not pay to win. If I buy a ship that you can't buy, it won't make any difference to you. Um, because you can buy it in-game. Now, obviously you're going to have to grind for it. But for PvP, let's say PvP, if you want to do like some ship-to-ship -ship combat. Most ships that people recommend for dogfighting are the little small fighters and they're you know a few hundred thousand UEC maybe around a million um, but never more than that and that's just off the top of my head I might be wrong but they're definitely you know hundreds of thousands not millions that's very easy to get guys like very easy to get hundreds of thousands in this game um, if you're playing the game and you're doing stuff in game you will make that money in no time um, there's multiple ways of making money and yeah, like I said, it's very easy to get that kind of cash. So you don't need to spend any money and you won't be at a disadvantage by not spending real money, okay? The other thing is if you join an organisation, and I always mention Vanguard because it's the organisation I'm in and I absolutely love being part of this organisation. They're an amazing bunch of people. They Between the entire um, organisation, we have every single ship that's in-game. And we have them multiple times over. So you can always get hold of a ship. If you want to try a ship out. If you want to go and do something in a particular ship. If you want to multi-crew a ship. It's very easy to do. You can just chat away in the um, org chat. And someone will have it. And you'll be able to go and do some stuff. So um, yeah. I highly recommend joining an organisation. There's many organisations like Vanguard. And I'm sure there's a lot of them. That are very willing to help you. Like Vanguard. But none of them, of course, are as amazing as Vanguard. Um, <laughs> they're definitely an amazing bunch of people. And I highly recommend joining them. If you want to check them out, guys, the link's in the description to all my Star Citizen videos. Um, because, yeah, I'm a member of the org and I absolutely love being in it. So, yeah, check it out, guys. And like I said, being in an organisation like Vanguard, not necessarily in Vanguard, but like Vanguard, will allow you to have other ships and, again, will negate that needs to spend anything else like you really don't need to buy anything off the website um, you will see people saying this game's paid to win it absolutely is not paid to win um, like I said you get no advantage from buying a ship other than you didn't have to grind it and you might be fortunate enough to have that kind of spare money where if this is your thing you can invest money in it um, I'm a subscriber to the game I pay a monthly subscription fee so that each month I get a free ship that I can fly around in and try different ships like that and um, I want to contribute to the game and be a part of the um, development of the game. That's my personal thing. I can personally afford to do that. And that's what I do. Rather than buying loads of ships and spending loads of money, I decided to get the subscription and do it like that and get to try different ships each month when they come out. So yeah, there's multiple options, guys. But again, I've said this probably 100 times already. You do not need to spend any more money than the base package i'm gonna stop waffling on now because there's nothing really much else to say and i just wanted to point out that it is unnecessary you don't need to spend any more money okay so yeah there you go guys i hope that made things simpler as to how to get into the game and how to buy the package and yeah what each one is 
And I hope that I clarified you don't need to spend any more than the $45 you pay for the start pack. Like I said earlier, I'm going to do a few more of these videos, like how to get started once you're in the verse, what to do kind of thing. And a few other things. I'm also trying to figure out how to do a um, video for joining an organization and what it's like being a new member of Vanguard and the experience I had once I joined. So, um, yeah, quite a few things coming forward with Star Citizen. And again, hopefully they're helpful. And hopefully this was helpful for you as well. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the verse.